when it comes to the omegas, we hear a lot about uh, heart health. Can you explain what atherosclerosis is? The atherosclerosis is hardening of the arteries. And what it is, is normally when your blood flow comes down an artery, you s expand with blood pressure, forcing it out and contract. That elasticity is what we call, is one of those great properties of our arteries because it allows us to deliver blood where it's needed. So if you're exercising a muscle in your leg, you want to expand the artery going to the leg. And it, 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 that elastic property has to be one of those properties that you want. Well, hardening of the arteries, which is atherosclerosis, means it doesn't expand or contract. It just sits there like a dumb pipe, if you will. Mm -hmm. And so it doesn't do, it doesn't blunt the increase in blood pressure you might get, or it doesn't blunt the decrease in blood pressure you might get when you're exercising. So it is, um, atherosclerosis is the formation of plaque in the arteries that causes the arteries to be less flexible. Now let me go and say, so what's the cause of atherosclerosis? Well, you already know some of the causes. High blood pressure, it bangs on the artery mm -hmm. and causes separation of those cells. You automatically repair it. The repair system you use, the patch you use that you patch over the holes is LDL cholesterol. So what's the initial cause? What weakens those junctions between the cells or the tiles inside your blood vessel wall? It is simple sugar. So that sugar weakens it, blood pressure comes down, tears it, you patch it over with LDL cholesterol, and that's where the stiffening of the arteries comes from both high blood pressure and high blood sugar. The good news about omega-7, it lowers blood pressure as well as decreases the formation of the hardness of the arteries. Building upon that, can you talk about omega-7 and cholesterol and the relationship, both good and bad cholesterol, and how the two are tied? Well, remember what I said is there's a patch that you put in if you have a tear between cells in your arteries. That patch is with LDL cholesterol, and some of the excess of the patch is taken away with HDL. But that patch is the start of inflammation, is the start of hardening the arteries. So cholesterol isn't as key a product as, for example, blood pressure is, or is keeping blood sugar down. But in fact, the omega-7 not only keeps your blood sugar down, so it's unlike, less likely you'll have the, the tear in the first place, mm -hmm. but it lowers your LDL cholesterol and the inflammation that accompanies that to decrease atherosclerosis.